As we near the second anniversary of the James Webb Space Telescope's launch, the first 20 months of its scientific endeavors have significantly shifted our perception of the cosmos. Yet, this telescope is presenting substantial challenges to scientists by uncovering discrepancies in our existing cosmological models. The precise sequence and timing of how early star clusters merge to form the galaxies we see today is still a topic of debate. Earlier, cosmologists believe this merging occurred gradually, starting a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. However, the revelations from the James Webb Telescope are causing experts to rethink these early theories. Prevailing beliefs held that these nascent protogalaxies matured into adolescent forms one to two billion years after the universe's inception, evolving into dwarf galaxies that eventually merged and expanded into larger galaxies, similar to our Milky Way. We've long thought that the universe went through a cosmic dark age, a period when it was shrouded in a fog of neutral hydrogen that obscured the light from the earliest stars and galaxies. Conventional models posited that this fog only cleared about one billion years after the Big Bang, as the neutral hydrogen became ionized and began to separate. The conclusion of these dark ages marked the beginning of star formations coalescing into galaxies, gradually molding the universe into its current state. At least that was the consensus among most of our models. With the deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope, we've encountered a profound dilemma that could fundamentally alter our grasp of the universe. Webb's unexpected discovery of numerous early galaxies, shining with an intensity that rivals our own Milky Way, has left astronomers perplexed. This finding deeply challenges the foundational principles of cosmic evolution. Ordinarily, a galaxy's brilliance is attributed to its size. Yet, these ancient galaxies, having formed so soon after the cosmic dawn, shouldn't have had sufficient time since the Big Bang to grow so large and luminous. This raises critical questions. How did these vast galaxies form so rapidly? And why do they shine so brightly against the expectations set by our theoretical frameworks? Researchers have coined the term too big and too soon to describe these anomalously large and luminous galaxies. Despite expectations that only colossal galaxies akin to the Milky Way could exhibit such brightness, these nascent cosmic structures have formed much more rapidly. This baffling circumstance has driven scientists to deeply question established cosmic theories. In response, a team of researchers harnessed the power of a supercomputer to undertake a thorough investigation, acknowledging that this complex puzzle exceeds human comprehension alone. They developed a detailed galaxy formation model and conducted extensive simulations to emulate the intricate interactions of gases in the early universe, leading to star and subsequent galaxy formation. Delving into the nuances of the universe's early mass, energy, momentum, and chemical makeup, the researchers stumbled upon a potential solution. They theorized that stars during this primordial phase might have experienced rapid, intense bursts of creation after long, dormant periods, a phenomenon they've termed bursty star formation. This starkly contrasts with the more gradual star formation observed in the modern universe. Such a unique process could shed light on the unexpected luminosity of the early cosmos. The team thus deduced that these brilliantly shining galaxies detected by the James Webb Space Telescope might result from these intense star-forming outbursts, leading them to shine more brightly than traditionally anticipated. Essentially, the universe might have experienced a dramatic, sudden illumination phase, a kind of cosmic, let-there-be-light event. Upon commencing its scientific operations in the summer of 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope swiftly identified high redshift galaxies, offering a glimpse into the universe's state less than 400 million years after the Big Bang. 
These galaxies shone with an unexpected brightness, challenging the predictions of the standard cosmological model. This model traditionally views galaxies as initially small, gradually growing larger through a series of mergers within the cosmic web's dark matter framework. However, the bright early galaxies observed by Webb suggest that this model may need revising. Simulations now indicate that galaxies don't necessarily have to be massive to be bright. If star formation occurs in intense bursts, it can cause them to shine brilliantly, aligning with observations and offering a nuanced understanding that still respects the hierarchical growth concept. Yet, the discrepancies with the standard model extend beyond this. A primary issue highlighted by Webb's observations is the existence of fully formed massive galaxies far earlier in the cosmic timeline than previously thought possible. Traditionally, cosmological models posited that such galaxies would take at least a billion years post-Big Bang to form. The discovery of galaxies like Macy's Galaxy, existing just 390 million years after the universe's inception, a mere moment in cosmic terms, challenges this notion and suggests our understanding of cosmic history might be incomplete. These early mature galaxies, spotted at the universe's farthest reaches, imply that our models need significant adjustments to account for such rapid formation and growth. Secondly, the recent discovery of two massive objects colliding early in the universe's history has significantly disrupted established cosmological theories. The James Webb Telescope has once again challenged the prevailing understanding of galaxy collisions timing and nature. It observed two vast galaxy clusters merging to form an even larger cluster an event that occurred when the universe was merely half its current age. This discovery, exemplified by the El Gordo Galaxy Cluster, is in stark contrast with our current cosmic models, which suggest that galaxies should first form individually and then gradually merge over time to create larger structures. The early appearance of such a massive cluster like El Gordo poses a substantial challenge to the Big Bang theory and raises critical questions about the accuracy of our existing models. The scientific community is now faced with determining whether these early, colossal collisions indicate a need for a new cosmological model or significant revisions to our current understanding. Thirdly, the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of nascent galaxies have unveiled a surprising abundance of giant black holes at a stage near the universe's inception. These galaxies, mere dots of light in the vast darkness, were found to harbor turbulent centers akin to cosmic cyclones. This was an unexpected finding, as scientists did not predict the existence of such a populous early universe filled with these massive entities. The most likely explanation for these tumultuous galactic hearts is the presence of large black holes, each with the mass of millions of suns, stirring the surrounding gas clouds intensely. These early black holes, thought to be the progenitors of the supermassive black holes we're more familiar with, seem to have formed astonishingly early in cosmic history. The Webb Telescope's discovery of these hefty black holes challenges our current understanding of cosmic evolution. Previously, scientists expected to find smaller, nascent black holes gradually growing over time. Instead, they've encountered a series of substantial black holes that question the traditional narrative of stellar and galactic evolution. By analyzing these early cosmic behemoths, scientists aim to unravel the mysteries of their origins, whether they grew rapidly or were born immense. This revelation not only perplexes astronomers, but also suggests a need for a significant re-evaluation of our theories concerning the formation and development of stars and galaxies. Fourthly, the Webb Telescope's observations have revealed a significant anomaly, 
ancient galaxies contain far fewer heavy elements than expected. This observation, which looks back over 12 billion years, contradicts what we've seen in more recently formed galaxies. Previously, telescopes weren't capable of analyzing the chemical composition of such distant galaxies. However, Webb's advanced capabilities have allowed astronomers to observe these galaxies shortly after the Big Bang, revealing a discrepancy in the expected correlation between star formation, mass, and chemical composition. As the Webb telescope continues to operate, possibly for the next couple of decades, it's anticipated to uncover more details about the universe's origins, potentially providing answers to many current cosmological questions. Your thoughts and engagement with these discoveries are invaluable, so please share your comments and remember to subscribe for more updates.